Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another Goggles Goes to Europe. And uh, <clears throat> this time I've used Truckee to get this load because uh, I couldn't find it. Uh, a friend, a gamer, a uh, gamer old man, suggested a trip from Dijon to Bourges. Bourges? Bourges? And uh, Bourges? <laughs> and um, anyways, it's a really, really awesome road with, you know, driving through a really nice forest for a good chunk of it. I think that's going to be the latter part of the trip, just judging by the map. If we look at the world map, we can see where we are in Dijon. And I'm just kind of wondering if it's going to be this road here. It's going to be the forested one, or maybe it's this one. Who knows? Oh, it's probably that one over there, because it looks like I've traveled this road before on my way to, yeah, down to Marseille from uh, Calais. Yeah. So this is probably going to be the bit here. So looking forward to it. It's going to be pretty good. It's a little bit of a longer trip, 450k. But hey, this is France. It goes 90 kilometers an hour, so we go 95. Oh, and yeah, I didn't know this was going to happen sooner or later. Uh, an old school skin. <laughs> it's kind of a work in progress. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not done. Uh, just kind of messing around with it. But. Uh, I don't know, it's got some potential there. So we'll see how it goes. This is Fred's uh, Scania. So I'm using uh, the motor that comes with it. I believe it came with it, 734 horse Scania V8. And uh, there you go, Platy. <laughs> Should make him happy. Anyway, let's, uh, let's head out. Now, a weird thing happened here with this trucky load. Oh, hey, you can get special transport out of that yard. That could have pegged that on the old memory. Turn right. I've got to try that yet. In 50 meters, turn left. Oh, yeah. And, uh, turn left. Also, thanks to Platy and Pups, um, I got that glass trailer. Oh, this, this engine sounds good. It's a willing rubber. What's the speed limit here? 70. I'm going to keep an eye on things here. I don't to start off on the wrong foot. In 50 meters, turn right. Turn right. Uh-oh. Totally missed that gear. doing too good with this engine yet. <laughs> Not real smooth with it. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's pick the right one this time. Don't get that low one with that orange sign on the right. Which one of these? Which one has the pass? This one. No. Oh, I picked the wrong one. I think I gotta stop and yeah, do the manual thing. I guess it was that one over there. Oh, look at those guys whizzing through. Man. So if the truck seems pretty peppy for 730 horsepower, 
it's not that I've got nitrous oxide or something running or compound turbos. It's that uh, I um, um, hmm, used Truckee and uh, got a load. I wanted to get the... Okay, so uh, let me think. The first time I went to use Truckee, I forgot to hit my autosave first. And so I got the load I wanted. It was glass panels from uh, Dijon to Borges. And um, I... Uh, then I realized, oh darn it, I didn't hit the button, so Keep I had right. to... Then take the exit on the right. I had to kill the uh, trip and uh, go and do take the auto... Take the exit on the right. Do the autosave. Turn right. And uh, try again. When I went again, the glass panels cargo was gone. And what was in its place was... Uh, Granite cubes. And the granite cubes. Once I get all loaded and I'm going, I realize, oops, get on the road. The granite cubes pay 600 euros. <laughs> and when I look at the, uh, I, I went, and I'm not seeing a, a weight on my information panel here. There's no wait listed, so I go uh, back into the, uh, you know, the your control panel thing. I hit job information, and there's zero wait. So it's like we just, Truckee's just decided to humor me. Okay, he wants to go to Borges. Well, let's let him. But he's, oh, speeding and fence, 13k over. 93 and a 90. Well, wait a minute. Is it only 80 for trucks? Come on. I've been doing this all along. Thinking what a great place France is because they're letting me go wild. Well, I'm not so sure about that now. Well, I'll be horn swoggled. That's a heck of a thing. But it says 90 on there, and the cars are allowed to go 110. No, I gotta dial it up. Maybe I, maybe it went down and I missed it. I'll go 90 for a while. Cause I mean, traffic's catching me. Well, uh, well, I mean, the cars are obviously gonna be going faster, but what is that back there? Oops bus or a car. So this trailer, uh, well, look at that place, uh, getting renovated or something. Oh, it's the road getting built. Yeah, that truck's catching me from behind. Like, I'm going to step it up a notch. I think that was a cop with a just didn't like the look of my truck. The truck definitely drives different when it's uh, light like this. Oh yeah, and I wanted to look at the trailer. So I got that glass trailer. It's by uh, Ion or something like that. It was set for version 143, so I just updated the manifest and it works fine. That's a smart looking trailer. So Platy sent, I asked the question, what the heck are those things? And Platy sent a little video of one in operation. <laughs> it was really cool. First thing I thought of when I saw how it operated and what it did was one of those tugs they use for towing big airplanes around. But uh, it's pretty cool the way the uh, it lowers down, it drops the floor to the base of the trailer inside. Okay, so it's uh, there's all this big hydraulic stuff going on, like you know, pretty much the width of the rear wheels in there. And then what happens is uh, 
it lowers the bottom of the trailer right down to the ground and then unclamps it hydraulically and then the guy just drives away at the trailer and he's got this big u-shaped thing it's got the sides that hold the suspension independent for each wheel and the bottom it's like a big hollow u and he drives away and then they can come up and get the load off however they want off that platform that's sitting on the ground and then when he's ready when they get it off Keep he, right he can then back, take the exit on the right he can back under it again pick it up and drive away raise the suspension and take cool. the exit on the right in 50 meters turn left I gotta learn this truck. Turn left. I'm making a mess of the uh, shifting with it. Oh, I gotta yield. I think this thing, the RPM drops faster than the than the Detroit I was driving. To get faster on the stick. Okay, here, let's see if we can do this right this time. There's a green light. What's that say? Cards. Cards. That's what we want, isn't it? Oh, look at that other guy's whistling too, and I'm. Oh, I can't get it right. So cards must mean you're paying with your card, not the pass thing that everybody seems to have. In 50 meters, turn left. Turn left. Anyway, it's quick for uh, when it's empty. Okay, this must be the road that uh, Gamer was talking about. It gets windy. That's good. Should probably take the cruise control off. But. As usual, I'll wait till I get in trouble and then <laughs> do the right thing. Interesting uh, telephone poles made of, uh, I guess, stressed precast concrete. I figured I wasn't going to see too many straight pieces of road here, so <laughs> i dive on that little bit of straight road and grab a screenshot. <laughs> that was nip and tuck. This is a nice windy road. This would be an awesome road on a motorcycle. Corners are a little gentle. You'd have to be really moving to make it fun, but... 
I guess if you could hold back your rambunctious nature and behave yourself, you could still enjoy it. I know, as I said before, when I get on a motorcycle, it's scary because I don't know. It's like that. Oh, didn't get a ticket there. It's like that Jekyll and Hyde thing with me. Pretty calm in a car. Like, I, mean, I like the. Oh man, here's that forest. Okay. There, this is it. Nice. Awesome. Go straight. Wonder if I should pass that guy. He's 80 kilometers an hour here. Why not? We're empty. Man, this thing goes. Oh, you were just up to 100k, just like that. In 50 meters, turn left. Turn left. Oh boy, I really do have to learn this engine. There goes the competition. Go straight. Two tickets. Let's try and keep it at two. Use the cruise control to help me out here. Go straight. So, something about the speed limit. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Take the exit now. Okay, now what the heck am I doing wrong here? Take this one with no green goblin. Let's try that. In 50 meters, turn right. A71 to turn Pat right to Patty. Hardly on. Hundred K right on the dot to go. Try this truck with a load on it. But I don't know, I think the paint job has promise, but it's needs some tweaks. Oops. All over the road. Limoges. It's funny, the like Orleans in near where I grew up in rural Ontario when I was a kid. Um, 
there was a town called Orleans on one side of us, and south of us there was a town called Limoges. It's pretty funny. Well, it was quite a you know bilingual area. With uh, Canada is a bilingual country, but you know out here in Alberta, you'd never know it. But where I grew up, it was very bilingual. Like you know, could at least half my friends were uh, French Canadian. I had to learn it in school, but I just know enough to get in trouble. And, you know, now living out here for, geez, 30-some, 34 years, I don't know. Been out here in Alberta a long time. And, uh, yeah, if you don't have to use it, you lose it. Like I say, I could ask for directions and potentially understand the response if the guy goes slow enough. I would be lost. I would people in France they would have Keep right. No clue. Then take the exit on the right. To what I was trying to say. <laughs> it's my uh I got a pretty Take the exit on the right. I don't even speak English that well. Oh, slow down, it's only fifty here. Okay, take the one with no single bobby. Toll paid, that's it. Okay, so that's it. No green goblin, give her. In fifty meters turn left. Turn left. Oh man, I used a clutch. I <laughs> still missed the gear. That whole business of pushing a clutch in, man, scares me in a truck is. Well, they have a trans brake, like if you push the uh, clutch all the way to the floor, it uh, stops the uh, transmission from spinning. And what it does is, um, um, for, so you can put it in gear when you're stopped, like you push the clutch in. If the truck's in idling, in uh, neutral, and the, the transmission is spinning around, when you put the clutch in, if you don't push the clutch in all the way and you go to put it in gear, it's going to grind and gnash at the teeth, you know, because... At the roundabout, take the first exit. There's still spinning parts in the transmission and no synchro mesh. Take the exit now. So this little wee teeny disc about that big in the, by the release bearing in the clutch stops... In 50 meters, turn right. ...stops the transmission. See, this would have been a logical place to be bringing glass. Like, why couldn't I get the load? Turn right. Arrived at but, destination. But anyway, if you if you push that little thing in and clutch to the floor when the truck's moving, you'll fry that little... Wow, this is cool, man. Nice. Dans le jardin. Dance le jardin. <laughs> Oops. It's actually not dance, it's dan. What's that mean in French again? Dan. In? Uh, something like that. Uh, let's see what's going on. Let's deliver our nothing. Back there. Well, I guess we got, uh, oops. Should, we should have got paid enough to uh, pay our fuel. I guess we'll just turn around right here. Oh, this thing should turn around in very limited space. I should have checked too to see if one of the axles lifts on the trailer. Be good to put one up now. Uh, the front one would have been nice if it was one of the back one. Man, those cows want to be milked real bad. 
<laughs> Hang on, girls. It's, uh, what would it be, 3 in the afternoon? Or 12? No, it's only 2, almost 2. A little early to be making that bus. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing this from inside. Darn it all. Let's uh, get our act together here. Get my head turned just right. This is a cool engine. I like it, but uh, boy, I should gotta learn the. Like I'm doing, on that Detroit, I've been driving that 8V92. It's got a nice lazy tail off, and you can kind of count the beats. Dun, 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 boom, you know. And this one, it's it's way quicker. So I'll learn it. I guess it'd be a good idea. Start, you know, more true to the action here with the proper engine in the truck. Okay, let's see. 450 kilometers. Used a lot of fuel for 600 euros. Hmm. Well, I probably didn't make any money. Well, they don't count the fuel, so. Anyway, there we go, guys. That was a neat little trip, especially through that forested area. Thanks to Gamer for pointing that out. Thanks to the other uh, people who are supporting this, like, you know, trailers, and I've got some DLCs, and some patrons and whatnot and um like i say the other day i think i mentioned i managed to get the first two patron skins out and i'll update the at some point or other my patron channel i'll have to put something in there about what's going on with that or you know i'll personalize uh, one of my existing skins for uh anybody who's a patron and got to figure out how often i'll do it because i mean it's going to be more than a one-time deal i would imagine but anyway we got to, uh, yeah, just carry on, keep it up, and, um, yeah, got to do something with this skin, got to figure out the top, I'm okay with the bottom, the top's a little iffy, that bit above the old school that goes to the front and curls down and comes back a bit, there's got to be a gold line that comes back this way and fades to nothing like the line down there in the side panel, goes around the old school and comes forward, it goes to a point, and there's going to be a line like that up there underneath the old school that'll go back and just go to a sharp point to finish that line off. So, but yeah, it's a uh, well, work in progress. Anyway, as I, uh, once again, thanks for following along, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, oh, about a live stream, I'm going to put a notice out tomorrow probably about when it's going to be. And, um, probably going to be I'm thinking Monday or Tuesday and uh, but you'll you'll get a notice so thanks very much anyway guys for following along and uh, bearing with me <laughs> take care and we'll catch you on the next one bye for now